How to create product size chart in WooCommerce? Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create product size chart in WooCommerce. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So what do you need for this? You need a WooCommerce site. Right now I'm in a free trial. And there are two different ways to get your size chart. So first of all, I'm going to let you know what is a size chart. Here, probably if you're trying to buy some t-shirts, clothes like jackets or hoodies or some pants or maybe some shoes, I don't know. Almost all products have different sizes. If you're trying to buy a TV, a guitar, or you're trying to make a notebook or a bag, all of those products are gonna have different sizes. But it's really common to find these size charts into the clothes. So probably, uh, I don't know, like this, this is the usual one. So you're going to have the chest size and the body length, but there are other measurements that you can add, like the sleeve and so on. So by now, this is the size chart that we are going to try to get into our product. So what are you going to need here into your WooCommerce is go to your products. And probably you're going to have some products by default. These are default products. You can use one of these or you can create a new one or import a new one if you need it. But I'm going to make the example with this hoodie. So there are two different ways. First of all, I'm going to try to explain the method that you have available in the free trial. But remember that you're, if you're going to try to sell some products throughout your e-commerce, you're going to need to buy your site. So I'm going to let you know the prices of this because it is really important to know. I'm going to upgrade to a paid plan before to continue. So if you try to sell these and show the people what is the size chart of your product, at least you're going to have to buy the essential plan. So that's everything you need to set up your store and start selling your products. So you can pay annually and save 35% and you're going to have these possibilities into your essential domain or obviously buy a performance on plus and to pay annually if you try and want to do it so for instance here if you paid 39 per month here if you pay annually you're gonna pay 25 per month so that's gonna be really necessary okay but I'm going back into my products and into this hoodie. Let me see products and hoodie. There are different options to edit. This is the first one. If I click on edit, I'm going to have this big screen. What I do was simply to, um, you can add some media. So I go back here into my Google search and click here to save the image as size chart. So what I'm going to do here is add the media, add the size chart and insert into the product and you get put it a lot bigger. So if you click on preview changes, you're going to find your hoodie, some different images here. If you want to add it here, I'm going to explain to you later. And here in the description, you're going to find the size chart. That's the first way to do it. I'm going to close this tab. So is to add the image into the media. Also, what you can do is click on attributes too, and there is a new attribute. So for instance, size and the value, this is going to be small. Okay, so I'm going to save the attributes. And again, if I go back into preview changes, let me see if it's right now there. 
I guess not, not yet. We're gonna let some time. Okay, uh, in the right menu, you have the product gallery. The product image is the first image that you're gonna find, but the product gallery are the different pictures and photos that you're gonna find here. So what I do was the same process, add the product to gallery images, look for these image that I downloaded, and that's it, no more. So by now, I have the size, I can remove it if I want, and by now it's just small. Let me see if I click on update and go again to preview changes and see what are we going to find. Okay. Not yet. I don't have that option yet, but no worries. Oh yeah, there it is. Next to description, there is additional info, so the size is small. Okay. And there is another thing that you can do in WooCommerce by free and it's called to let me see let me see add-ons here in product add-ons so what i'm gonna do is to create a new one and this new add-on is gonna be i'm gonna add a field this is gonna be a multiple choice right and the title is gonna be size and i'm gonna add some three options so the first one is going to be this. I'm just going to have these three. The price is going to be the same. It doesn't matter. And this is it. I'm going to save this. Let me see. How can I? Oh, yeah. I'm going to publish it. And this is going to be for all products. Here in products categories, this is going to be for all products. So I'm going to load this again. And in addition, there is a new bar, so you have the size and the people is going to be able to select a small, medium and large and then add these to the buy car. And that's it. So this is the free mode. There is a special mode to do this, but this is just useful with the payment of WooCommerce. So what are you going to do? By now, you must have in mind that in your free trial, you are not going to find the plugins. Usually, it's by here, appearance, plugins, user tools, but there is no it in my free trial. But what I did was to create a new site with my, my email, the same email that I created, this one. So I'm going into both sites. I created this one, test number two, and probably... There are going to be more tools that you can use, for instance, the plugins. But as you can see, you need to upgrade to business plan to install plugins. So remember, if you want to buy some plants, you're going to have these prices. Okay. But what you must do here is right size charts. There are a lot of plugins. Um, usually you what you're gonna do is use the most common plugin in this case this has been used by 34 people and you just must to click here in the portable button and upgrade and activate that plugin and that's it it's really simple but by now I'm gonna be I'm not gonna be able to let you see this because I'm not gonna pay for the upgrade by now but it's usually the same. What are you going to find here is like some other text that says size chart. So you're going to, to click on it and there is going to be a new image that you're going to be able to see uh, the size charts. And obviously that size charts you must configure it by the beginning and it's going to be quite the same, quite the same as this. So I think this is not really necessary to use these plugins because um, at the end what are you going to need is to show the same image, okay? But perhaps you are interested in this and the way uh, the size charts is going to appear are going to be different ways to do that. Perhaps this is going to redirect you to a new tab or it's going to appear here like pop up and so on so there are different like stuff that you can do but this is it by the moment 
remember by free you could do that too go to your products and even configure the size that the people is gonna be buying you in the future that's it so this is how you can create a product size chart in WooCommerce thanks for watching